Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Mark Tager. I'm the author of the breakthrough book, Feed Your Skin Right, your personalized nutrition plan for radiant beauty. Now, I have the pleasure of also being the host of a new online professional training program called Inside Skin Beauty. The course is based on a unique model and it covers how a practitioner can get the best results for their client by combining an inside out with an outside-in approach to skin health and beauty. Now, in the training, we cover how to incorporate personalized nutritional assessments, address diet and lifestyle, and add intelligent supplementation. Now, these are the main inside-out steps. Outside-in, we go over the active molecules that enhance daily skin care and the synergistic effects of devices that biostimulate the skin for regeneration. In the course, I'm joined by more than 35 faculty. One of them is my guest today, Patrick Johnson, who is CEO of BioFotis. They're the makers of the Saluma device. So welcome, Patrick. Good morning. It's great to be with you here. Perhaps we could d- dive into one area where a combined inside out and outside in treatment plan can make a big difference in skin health and beauty, and that's mitochondrial stimulation. There's uh, Doing the research for this, I found a great older scientific paper on the NIH site, and it was entitled Mitochondrial Aging and Age-Related Dysfunction of Mitochondria. Here's what they said. This concept was developed as a mitochondrial theory of aging, since mitochondria are the major producers of ROS, reactive oxidative species, in the cell. According to this theory, with age, mitochondria accumulate ROS-induced damage and become dysfunctional. With time, the function of the cells decline, and this causes aging and subsequent death. Okay, now with this as our backdrop, Patrick, perhaps you could discuss the role of light therapy in countering this mitochondrial decline. We say, arguably, um, mitochondrial degradation is the definition of aging. You know, as our bodies lose the ability to heal themselves naturally, we age. A fundamental mechanism of action of low-level light therapy is, you know, re-regulating and upregulating the mitochondrial process. And it's a it's a pretty complex biochemistry. It's fundamental in kind of turning back on the body's natural ability to heal itself, which over time it's sort of forgets how to do given environmental insults, whether that be injury, illness, disease, bad behavioral habits. We are able to counter natural degradation of cellular function by triggering biochemical reactions in the body that get it back to healing itself. As you know, I was part of the original team that created the Fraxel laser. And we always had this this maxim that, you know, the more damage you do, the better the result, the more, the greater, in other words, the greater the insult, the greater the result. But low level light therapy in general, you know, it's not an aggressive treatment and yet it has profound effects. Maybe you could speak to how, how does that work? Yeah. I mean, one way to think of it is, is, you know, photosynthesis for, for mammals. And in the case of the mitochondria, it's the upregulation of ATP. The, the cell starts to produce more energy for driving normal cellular function. One great example of that in, in aesthetics is stimulating fibroblast cells. Hmm. Um, they're primarily responsible for producing collagen and elastin, the two most important proteins in connective tissue and skin health. When we all reach about the age of 40, fibroblast cells start taking the day off. And, and so we're able to trigger through the simulation of cytochrome C oxidate, the upregulation of ATP and the fibroblast cells get back together, you know, and get, get back to work. We can do things like diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by rebuilding the matrix in in the skin. And, you know, to your point, to a great degree in aesthetics, we insult tissue in order to elicit a healing response on the part of the body. The problem is, is we also trigger inflammatory processes, which is the body's natural protection mechanism against further injury. So we're working at cross purposes. The great thing about low-level light therapy is that we kind of have a one-two punch in that we knock down the inflammatory process while providing the cells with more energy 
to accelerate healing. It's a great modality of treatment. Yeah, and it fits in so many, many, many places. Perhaps we could briefly point out the major features and benefits of the Saluma device. What differentiates the Saluma from any other product on the market is we've de designed it to be flexible and shape taking. What that allows the device to do is to conform closely to the area of treatment, therefore requiring less power, which makes the device inherently more safe because we don't want to overdose the tissue. You know, that's uh, the clinical literature defines really well the amount of light energy that's required to upregulate the mitochondrial process. And so we've designed using the best science available, the Saluma to be able to deliver a therapeutic dose of light energy without running, you know, any risk of triggering phototoxic events. Devices are multi multimodality. They're FDA cleared and medically CE marked for 10 different indications for use. And so, you know, a lot of versatility and a lot of value, you know, a lot of big bang for the buck, given all of the things the Saluma can do. I know that many of you watching this have had the experience of doing aesthetic procedures on patients. And sort of like me, you wonder why some people seem to respond so much better than others. Now, I believe this variability in response relates directly to the quality of the skin tissue. And the quality of the skin tissue depends upon optimal levels of key nutrients. Now, when it comes to the nutrients that affect the skin, the best evidence centers around the omega-3 fatty acids, uh, antioxidants such as vitamin C, my personal favorite, astaxanthin, uh, which imparts the red color to salmon and crabs and alpha lipoic acid, CoQ10, then there are the members of the B vitamin family, particularly B12 and folic acid. And then you've got zinc and magnesium. Now, intelligent supplementation with these kind of nutrients can augment a professional and even a home care program of light therapy. Now, you'll learn all about this in the Inside Skin Beauty course. And speaking of the course, right now we have a special offer with a substantial tuition discount for Saluma viewers. Now to check this out, go to InsideSkinBeauty.com forward slash Saluma, InsideSkinBeauty.com forward slash Saluma. Patrick, as always, uh, you're our master educator and thanks for real value uh, to today's session. I really appreciate it. Absolutely my pleasure. Happy to be here.